Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Power Glove Pixels and my co-host Spider Empire. So back again with a new video. Uh, on today's uh, video, we have a lot of news to talk about. You know, movies and some of the stuff that happened to me in particular. Uh, so a company, UMG, apparently tried to say that we copy their art, which is kind of <laughs> bullshit. What do you think of that? What what, what happened this year? So me? fucking idiotic, dude so dumb when you told me that i'm like what the hell is going on here how, yeah like how they're, they're trying to <laughs> they were trying to fucking claim my artwork that i <laughs> fucking helped you out with <laughs> that's funny fucking best and they're trying to say that they have the original art i'm like really motherfuckers it's like yeah. i have it right here i have the paper i have all of it yeah Even there's you you have um the dates yeah the, the time dates. that i exactly. sent that i sent to you yeah, yeah, it's just dumb. Nah, this shit is so fucking idiotic. The thing is that there's so many scammers out there, dude. Like oh, not yeah. just in, oh, yeah, the, yeah. not just on YouTube, but also in, um, you know, uh, what do you call those? The telemarketing crap that they're yeah. always calling yeah. every day. It's it's just annoying. Yeah. It's like they come yeah. up with these fucking lies. It's funny, yeah. dude. Like you owe this or you want this promotion or what the fuck. All right. It's annoying, dude. It's really mm -hmm. annoying. But but at least we fixed it. So. Uh, yeah, if you ever, just you be aware. Let YouTube know. We should about call them that. Scum Bag of the What Week, UMG. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we Jack of yeah. the Week. Yeah, I don't know, but just keep a knife for that company. Pieces UMG. Just keep a knife yeah. for that company. It's uh, they're going around f apparently for smaller, you know, YouTuber creators and stuff like that. Yeah. All right, let's move on from that. Um, Metal Gear Online came out this week. Uh, it yeah, it's, it's basically like, uh, it's kind of like the game, but it's online, you know, it's like, like the online version or whatever. You, oh. you remember Metal Gear 5, right? The, the one that came out, I believe. Yeah. Two yeah, years yeah, yeah. ago. Or how long, how old, what, what, how old was that? Yeah, like? I think it is two years ago, dude. Yeah. Yeah. That game. So. so apparently this game is online, but apparently it's the review's been coming in and it's not that great because you know how it's not, the it's same. not the zombie one, right? It's not that zombie um, one. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, I think it's that one. And people have been... It's been running kind of even horrible on the Xbox X. I've been uh, seeing videos on that. Really? Yeah, because it's not the original. You know, it's not the original... Uh, what do you call it? Yeah, the yeah, I'm a, yeah, yeah, the creator. The yeah. creator. So, it's Konami, you know, just trying to make a quick buck on this, you know. Hmm. But I don't know. It's 60 bucks, so if you guys want to... Are know, you serious? They're charging 60 bucks? Yeah, 60 bucks. It's Wow. The, the, that the game should be like at least a $20 yeah, game. Yeah, the physical. I'm not sure about the digital, because you know how it's kind of the prices are different, but on the physical, I saw at GameStop, it's uh, $59.99. Yeah, no, that game should be at least 20 bucks. Yeah, so... It's, it's just a... What do you call it? Um, An add-on. It's stupid. Uh, I wouldn't honestly. The most I would pay for that game is ten bucks. That's the most I would honestly. If yeah, I were find uh, it, yeah. If it was ten bucks, then you just wait for the sale. Mm -hmm. right, right. Yeah. So what have you been playing? Are you, you're playing Fortnite. How are you liking that? Uh, you, yeah, like I said, I like playing it. If, yeah, um, I love the art style, all that. Yeah, the mechanics are easy to go through. There's no like drop offs. Okay. Which mean which means is that uh, when you shoot your gun, it doesn't follow an arc. It just straight away you so, miss. You miss. So that game, can you play it like the same thing like PUBG, like on a squad? If you had four friends, yeah. same thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Four okay. friends. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, but uh, you can play single, duo. But, but this is what I don't Team get though. Spawn. The game is free, right? Or is it? Yeah. Why is there like a paid version? Well, that's what I'm confused. Okay, uh, there's the free one. That's the battle royale. The paid version is kind of like story mode. It, it has, has different, different modes, modes on there. there. Um, but I think I believe that in that one you get to earn in-game currency. You know, money. Okay. And interesting of course of course you know microtransactions you know yeah yeah uh, if you want the latest um cool skin or like for example the pickaxe they have different versions oh okay. uh, of course you're gonna have to pay for it if right. you want it right it's like 10 bucks for i, don't, I forgot how much in-game 
currency it is. Okay, interesting. Um, yes, uh, so basically the, the paid version is, um, what is it, story mode, single mode, um, fight waves of zombies, mm-hmm. like that, and I, get, know, I, think, I think you earn um, money, like I said, I think you earn money. And you know, money. I kind of like the approach that they went, that it's free on the online aspect, oh, you yeah. know, because uh-huh. if they would have been a pay... Then you know, I think you know a lot of people wouldn't be playing it, you know, as much as free, you know. No, no. Like there would have been a sixty dollar, like you know, or a bundle yeah, yeah. type of game, you know. Mm-hmm. But that's good. At least you're enjoying the the game Fortnite. Um, yeah. Let's see. Let's move on. Uh, so you know, like every Friday, we you usually talk about you know news and sometimes mm-hmm. it's not gaming related. Uh, this mm-hmm. week, Black Panther came out. Have you been seeing yeah. any reviews on it? What, oh, yeah, what, yeah. what have people you... like it? Um, I believe it got close to a perfect score. Mm-hmm. Uh, even though I, I hate Rotten Tomatoes, I don't believe in them. Mm-hmm. You know, even though it's different. Um, what do you call them? Uh, movie reviewers. So that professional. Okay, so that. Mo- so so that it's movie is so that movie's based on it's on it's a Marvel character, right? It's a yes. Movie. And then it's based on what though? Like, because I know it's from a universe, isn't it? From what universe? Is it? Or is it its own universe? No, so it's it's Cause in the Marvel universe. It's, oh, okay. It's, it's, okay. It's okay. part of the Marvel universe. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. Okay, because you know how they always kind of do crossovers like for example Avengers and you know how they do all these mm-hmm. um, so I'm just wondering mm-hmm. where it fits you know it's a, it's its own thing you know mm-hmm. okay that's not bad I, I do want to yeah, it's, yeah so basically it set records during the four day weekend holiday right. weekend right right huh um yeah it's it's a awesome movie Cool, cool. That's good. That's good. Um, also, this week they announced uh, Star Wars, the um, uh, the one with what was the the last one, the eighth, right? The last one that came out was it? yeah. Mm-hmm. They announced Fine, the it's coming up. Yeah, they announced the Blu-ray version coming like mid March, I believe. Oh really? And Already? it's gonna be the first. Apparently, it's gonna be the first 4K uh, Star Wars movie on um, Blu-ray. That's what apparently. Oh, wow. So if you have that type of setup, you know, with the 4K TV and the 4K, mm-hmm. you know, everything, damn, that movie's gonna look nice, you know. Wow. But, um, that definitely that movie. Yeah, I heard that there's like 14 deleted scenes or some shit like that. They're oh, gonna wow. be hacking it in, dude. I actually want to get it. I, I'm, I'm actually, I want to. If I see it at a, you know, um, you know, a local mm-hmm. store, so I want to get the physical copy of that movie. Right. All right. Um. Let's see. Let's move. Burnout came out this week. Yeah, uh, what is it? A remake or something like it's, that? Uh, HD remake yeah, or it's something? Like, yeah, it's based on the, I, I think, of the PlayStation Paradise? 3. Yeah, it's on the PlayStation yeah. Isn't it the uh, Burnout Paradise one? Yeah, the one that was on the PlayStation 3, yeah. Didn't it come out for the 360? Um, To be honest with you, I don't know because I remember playing that, that game was... with Paul, but on the PlayStation 3. Oh. I never, oh. I never, I wasn't, I wasn't really playing oh. it on the Xbox. But it could be, it could be on the 360, but oh. I just never got around playing it there. Yeah. Cause I remember playing a lot that game with Paul on the PS3. We used to always play. On the Didn't PS3. they show some screenshots or something? Um, I believe yeah. It looks good. I mean, it looks good. Yeah. yeah. Not bad. Not bad. Also, um, I want to give my thoughts on the NES and Super NES uh, minis, which is mm-hmm. not bad. So for people out there trying to see if it's worth it, I think it's worth it. I mean, you could add games and stuff. I think it's definitely right. worth it. And the games run really good, dude. Like huh? you, I, I was pretty impressed. Like the the way the games run, um, I threw any game at it and it runs. It runs pretty good. And yeah, sorry about that, guys. Is my phone <laughs> just made a, a message? Um, also, the Super NT has been going around. Uh, for people that don't know what this is, it's basically like a. I would say it's they call it like the Ferrari of the Super Nintendo, you know, 
because it's designed for yeah, like it's, HD, you know, like that's straight HD. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what is it? HD and um, Gamester. Uh, you know that dude, Gamester. Uh, yeah. One. He's he says it's like everybody's saying it's good. Everybody's saying it's a good device, but it's expensive if you want that. You know that premium. Almost two hundred bucks, right? Like one ninety, I believe. But I was I, I'm I was thinking of it, but the problem is that they only have the 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 the, the black version, and I'm not I don't want the black version. Oh, you want the uh, American Super NES colors? Yeah, yeah, because I the collect. You, you know me; I'm always collecting. So that's mm -hmm. you know, as a collector item too, it'd be cool. But mm -hmm. because honestly, I've tried putting the the NES Mini on my uh, TV, my HD TV, and it doesn't look mm -hmm. good. I have to put it on the old uh, on my old um, Sony for it to you know to run. You know the the Mini. Really? Not to run, but to, but, to for it so to. So what is it? The HDMI cables or what? See, the thing what sucks about the mini is that it is HDMI, but it only does 480p. So it's not like oh. the it's not like the this, this NT where it okay, does so, really so, HD up to 4K. So, apparently, that's what they're saying. So it's a you see the pixels really sharp, colors really uh -huh. vibrant. So you see what I'm saying. So the NT is more designed for like that nice 16 bit right. nice. Colors. Yeah, but the thing is, it's cartridge based, and um, not a lot of people have the cartridges. Yeah, and people are going to be emulating more than. But guess what? Practice. Guess but guess what they found out, and this happened maybe, uh, maybe like a week ago. They already jailbreak the damn NT, dude. Are you serious? They already. Yep. Jeez. You could just put an SD card, a 32 uh -huh. gig, bam, put some games, and you already have the whole library of Super Nintendo games through there. That's what they uh -huh. were saying, and I was like, "Wow!" Now that's pretty tempting because, like, playing everything in nice HD, that's nice playing all those mm -hmm. games on. And then the super, the the mini, it's not a bad device; it's great. But if you if uh -huh. you if you put it on, a, like, for example, if you put it on your TV, what is it? A 1080p? Your TV's a yeah, yeah. It's gonna look like mm -hmm. shit. It's not gonna look good. You would have to put it maybe. Uh, so basically, the t uh, the TVs won't acknowledge 480 or it, 420. Sorry. It does, but it doesn't look right. It just looks, it looks all like, it just looks foggy. I don't like the quality. I, I don't know, just weird the quality mm. that it looks. It's, it's just, it would look good on any mm. CRT TV, any, you know, any old type of TV. It looks yeah. good. So it's, this is, That's it's cool. Odd. It's cool That's though. Odd. It's cool though. It's cool. It doesn't suck, you know, but, mm -hmm. but um, if you really want to put, like, for example, if you were to get the NT and you put it on your TV on the one you play in the Xbox One, it's going to look mm -hmm. nice. Like, the colors are going to look nice. Like, mm -hmm. it just okay. it just looks nice. Like, it's even day and night. People are like, wow, mm -hmm. they're surprised how the quality looks really good on it. Mm -hmm. So, okay. I'm looking forward to it, but I don't know. If they can't find the color I want, I'm not going to get it. I have to, I want the, I want the, you know, uh -huh, the, uh -huh. the, you know, the, the American colors, you know, and the, the Japanese yeah. or something. Because it's not worth it. And it's not, it's just not mm -hmm. worth it for me, wasting all right, let's move on to the next news. So, uh, did you just hear what uh, Trump, Donald Trump, um, uh, for people that listen to us in the United States, did you hear this week what he said about the games, about video games, or you haven't been? Uh, no, I don't give a damn about them. Okay, so. I don't pay attention. Okay, so that dumbass, apparently he said now that he's blaming video games for the shooting that happened. So, for people that don't know. Garbage. Wow, so instead of blaming the fucking kid, now they're going for everything else. Yeah, so for God people that don't damn. know, there was a shooting, Jesus. and then Donald Trump yeah, now Florida. is... Yeah, so people are now saying that the video games are the fucking cause of the damn. Oh damage. my God, my serious fuck. And I, I don't Jeez. know, Donald Trump, oh my God, I don't know, I'm probably going to have a lot of negatives, but but it's funny because he said, I don't know, he, another comment he said that apparently... California is like the place where people don't want to help them. Apparently, this this state apparently, according to him. Good. So I don't know, man, but it's stupid what it came out this news about his 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 mentality on games. You know. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Anything else that you want to say before we wrap it up? Uh, okay. Uh, so if you guys been um seeing people um in video games talking about um evil that's coming up in vegas uh marvel versus capcom infinite it's not gonna be there what yeah why uh, 
sales, uh, all that stuff. Um, not having the X Men characters on there. I, is that uh, the one? Is that the one that it's on the store right now? Uh, yeah. And I mm-hmm. believe it's like sixty bucks. I no, believe. no, or no, it's not. Did I? I went to uh, Target. Uh, I believe on Monday. Yeah, Monday, uh, and um, I went to their video game section. Mm-hmm. And guess how much they were selling it? How much? Please don't tell 20, me. Twenty bucks. That's a great price, dude. You would have. Yeah. You should have got it. It dude. was. Tw- it was twenty nine ninety nine. Oh my god! I would have. That's how it. much it dropped from sixty to twenty nine ninety nine. Is it, is it to that? Is it? Bucks. Is it that bad or what's going on? Have you heard? What no, people people, are, people like the mechanics on it, but it's just the the execution, the way they brought it out, the way Capcom talks shit about um, you know the X Men, but also the people who wanted the X Men in, okay. and also uh, Disney wanting only the characters that were in the movies. Oh, on there. So, okay, okay. So it's a fucking. So mess. there's a bunch of yeah, things. So, yeah, so, so um, Capcom is uh, shutting it down. I believe till June or something like that. The online. Sure. The online. Uh, I'm not sure how online, but I know yeah. the sales or wow. the products they're wow. not getting. And, and you know um, what though if they're gonna do that it's gonna become rare dude we need we need to get yeah, a copy of that i know but also uh a lot of people are thinking that since um disney bought fox you know the uh 20, 21st yeah. century fox yeah, yeah, what, you're, side, what you're telling me they're thinking probably next year or the following year um uh, when you know the so-called deal goes through mm-hmm Maybe Marvel versus Capcom Infinite will come back. You know, at least it. better. I've never, I've never I, seen at least that. better because yeah. the 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 artwork. I feel like it's just like an up res version of Ultimate Marvel versus Capcom Three. Right. Um, the mecha- the mechanics. Yeah, I yeah. believe people saying that it's just like a copy and paste onto Infinite. Now, has Max been playing that game? Or yeah, no, seen dude, he, he fucking quit that game. Oh my That's god! It. Yeah, so it's a bunch. Horrible. Yeah, the yo video game guys quit that game. Okay, the so Super friends quit that game. Wow, I didn't think it was yeah. that bad. Yeah, it's bad, dude. And um, and you know, you know, yeah, talk, I, uh-huh. I blame Fox. I blame Fox for this shit, dude. Or because they they own the well. If the deal goes through, they, you know. Disney and Marvel get the. I'm gonna have back. to. I'm gonna have to. Um, yeah, look yeah. For a I'm copy. Gonna, you yeah, should have got it, dude. If, Twenty if, bucks. You should have got it because you yeah, don't know that shit. I was go. thinking about that. I was thinking about that. Getting two of them, one for me, one for you, and. Um, yeah, I would pay you back. But uh, I was uh, like, eh, I could probably find a better, but I know GameStop. They probably still have it at the high price. You know what? Let me let me see for you guys. Yeah, uh, and Marvel, um, what what is it called? Marvel versus. Okay. Capcom Infinite. Infinite. Okay, I'm looking. And right I, I, I stopped playing it. I stopped playing it because um, once you get hit with the combo, an endless combo is like, what's the fucking point, you know? Okay, now this is. It's not like Killer Instinct where you get to guess uh for the combo breaker with inf- uh with Ultimate Marvel versus Capcom. Okay, um, and this- I'm 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 seeing it online right now, guys. And I'm seeing uh-huh. some very interesting stuff here. I'm seeing Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite uh-huh. How much? for the Xbox One, brand uh-huh. new, $69.37. dollars and thirty-five. Still expensive. God. So it's showing it. me that the demand might go up on this. This is interesting on this one. Well, since the announcement that of Evil, I'm not surprised. But like I said, over here at uh, Target. If I get a chance, if yeah. we get to go again, I'm grab I'm it, grab it, yeah, grab it, grab I'm, it, dude. Uh, can you it. check a uh, Walmart quick? Because I, I, I never, you know, got Walmart. a chance to check. So I'm on Walmart. So, Let's see, Walmart, and we're gonna put Marvel um, versus versus Infinite. Okay, okay. Now this is interesting. 
Uh, where did you see? Where did you see the game again? Where did you see? Okay, it? at Target it was twenty bucks, nineteen ninety nine. Oh my god! You should have fucking got it. It's fucking um, thirty five, and then it's fifty five if you want the deluxe edition. Wow. Oh my yeah, god! Yeah, I didn't see if, if it's the deluxe version. Oh my god! If you saw it, oh my god! You should I'll grab see. it. If you could, if I'll you could go, go on, yeah, go back and grab those games, dude. Don't think because yeah. it looks like the prices are. Are spiking. For example, I'm looking at Marvel vs. Capcom 2 mm-hmm. on the original Xbox. You know how that game also became really um, pretty rare? Yeah, because yeah, when um, Capcom and Marvel. I'm seeing the price here. 598 bucks and 68 cents. <laughs> yeah, it's no expensive. Way. Yeah, I'm looking at the price no right way. now. Yeah, I'm looking at the price. I I knew it was really extremely, and it's brand new too. It's a new copy, yeah. so oh my god. So yeah, you if you if you go to Target, grab it. How many copies did they have? Did they have a lot? I don't know, I don't know dude. Because I was like just scanning um oh, no. games, and um yeah, I didn't flip the little cover to see how many they had. Oh no, this is. Yeah, I'll, I'll I'll get you one, dude. Yeah. Don't worry. Hey, I'll get you one. All right, thanks. Um, <sighs> let's see, let's see. So, um, another yeah, game. So, so uh-huh. I'm thinking, um, like I was saying, probably a year or two they'll bring it back with hopefully better art style, you know, mm-hmm. and them giving a damn, giving a real story mode and all that shit. Because there was a lot of shit missing on it. It, it was kind of like they were saying it was kind of like on Street Fighter Five that came out with. Hardly shit. Oh, and, my but, God. but you know they they started to like add more stuff. Okay. okay. With Marvel versus Capcom, it was like okay, you added some DLC characters, cool. But where's the story? What happened to all that yeah, other stuff? You yeah, know? yeah. So yeah. it's like, oh well. Now another game too, if you guys don't know, um, that has not been doing well as well as Dragon Ball. I don't know if you've been hearing. That's another, yeah, you come with the PC version, right? The PC version, like by eighty percent, they were saying it's horrible. Like the, the people are just like leaving that fucking game. I don't know. The online is what's ruining that game, apparently. Um, I don't know what you've been seeing on your side. Uh, Max been playing it or whatever, but uh, uh yeah, he hasn't uh, been complaining about anything or he hasn't said anything about that game. Uh, because let's see, let's see. the online is what I've been hearing is just horrible, and that's what kind of turns me off about that game. It's like, ugh. but if it's the PC version, I I understand it. Yeah, uh, I'm thinking casuals are gone. It's even though this even though this game was made for you know the casual right to right to get right. into it because it's basically easy mechanics. Yeah, yeah. But if it's kind of like what's happening, like I was telling you with um, Marvel vs. Capcom, you know, with combos, you know, in- almost infinite combos, you're stunned into it. Uh huh. I I, see, I could see people leaving it. And you, you know what? You know what? But if it's a- the internet, um, I get it because it like what we said a couple yeah, of podcasts yeah. ago. Um, we were lucky that we got matches really quick. But, but- after that. Yeah, I, so, I saw that. So really I'm gonna hard to get matches. I'm gonna explain to you why I think the PC, why people are doing it, because I, I have, you know, I have a PC and I've been playing, uh, you know, games on the PC. Mm-hmm. And what I've noticed about the PC is that there is no community. You know how Xbox Live has a community and, and PlayStation. Yeah. Mm-hmm. On the computer, there is no like um, system. You know what I mean? Like, like, uh, like, like a friend. You know how Xbox has everything. You know, like, like if you want to send a friend request, a party. There's nothing right. like that. It's like, it's just so disconnected, and that's what disappoints me. Like, literally on the on the on the computer. Right. Like, you know what I, what, what I mean by that? Yeah. Like, yeah. It, yeah, like yeah, it, yeah, for yeah. example, I, the other day I was playing um, uh, that game. Uh, what's that game? Um, uh, Battlegrounds. P, uh, Pug G. Yeah. And right. I was playing with a, with a squad, and there is no, you know, there's no way to communicate. There's no, there's no way he can, you know, there's no way you can send him a, a, a request. Party nothing. Invite? Yeah, there's nothing. It's like everything is just like it's horrible on the PC. It's just I don't know. I don't really like. But in terms of graphics and performance, obviously that's better, you know. Right. But right, right. but in terms of the community, uh, it just sucks. It's unless you have. You know, for, for friends that have Pug G, and you know, like maybe like that, you know. You, oh, yeah. 
Yeah, if you have a bunch of friends on yeah. Steam, yeah. Yeah, but if you don't have yeah. anybody, for example, and you're just like, yeah. you, you, it's just horrible. There's no, there's no, you know, I don't know. Just uh, that's mm-hmm. how I, that's how I see the PC version. It's just, right. and I think I understand why, you know, Dragon Ball, why people mm-hmm. are leaving. Just there's nothing yeah, the there. PC yeah, there's no community. Like, at least on the Xbox, you know, there is. You know. Yeah. I don't yeah, know if you have, Xbox and PS, PS4. And, yeah, because if if you notice on Xbox, have you seen the little tab on the top? I don't know if you notice yeah. it says uh, looking for a group, looking for yeah. a tur- see. There's a community there, you know, and people mm-hmm. post. And I don't know if you notice like community posts, like you know, videos and shit like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. On the computer, there's nothing, you know. So that's right. why, you know, that's that's how I uh-huh. see the computer. So. All right, guys. Uh, anything else before we wrap it up for the week? Uh, 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 let's see. Um, oh, this is another one that I'm, I'm looking right now. Pokemon Switch Generation 8 apparently leaked. Apparently. I don't know. This is a rumor. They're a saying okay. a new Pokemon game. So uh, there has to be some Pokemon right. game there. Uh, anything else? Yeah, yeah. I'm thinking for either whatever direct is coming or until E3. Oh, okay, now uh, you know. I just got another news for you guys. EA uh-huh. is losing to Star Wars license. Did you hear about that? Oh, they are losing the Star Wars yes. license. Yes, D- Disney's thinking yeah. about it because yeah. EA is doing. They shit. they fucked it up. They they, they fucked up the yeah. second one. Yeah. They fucked it up. They, horrible, horrible, horrible. That game for yeah, me I'm is. Glad. A, I'm glad. That I'm game. Glad. The game is great. Characters are great and everything. That I don't yeah, have a problem yeah. with that. The fucking yeah. game just to fucking start takes forever. You know, oh, yeah, just yeah. to go through menus. Worse, worse, worse than the first one. It's, Horrible. It's, and that's why I don't even. Uh, I even uninstall. No bullshit. I, I was thinking of uninstalling that crap. Just me too, dude. Me too. It's a waste of fucking like, time. Yeah, I was. It, it was. Uh, I was thinking of doing that. The same thing. I was taking hard. It's hard, horrible. Uh, it's hard horrible. drive space. And oh my god. Yeah, the loading sucks. Give you t- load first before I can. And uh, that's so dumb because I, I prefer the first one. I'd rather go back and buy the first one, mm-hmm. a hard copy, yeah, just to play it because the loading was faster on that one. I don't know who gave the fucking thing to EA. Do you, do you know who gave Star Wars to EA in the beginning? Because uh, I, di- uh, not Disney, because Wait. because if you the remember, if you Disney. remember the N60 era, it was um. That squadron, remember that company that yeah. was doing squadron? Yeah, uh, but so basically, um, the, the ones who made the Rogue Squadron got bought by EA. Oh my god! And then they fucking disbanded. Why? That shit. EA EA's disbanded. fucking sucks. And then for this game, they fucking did it again. They disbanded the group that made this game. It's fucking stupid. EA. Yeah. No wonder that yeah. it's one of the hated, like one of the hated yeah. companies right now. Like seriously, just. And hopefully, Microsoft. If the rumor is true that Microsoft is trying to buy them, I hope they get rid of everybody that's there. <laughs> That'd be funny. Because that is bullshit. Yeah, that, that, that would be funny. I, and if they do get fired, I hope they do not find work. Yeah, because they need to do some changes. They there. will fucking destroy whatever other company they go into. My God, man! Because it's horrible. They're, they're just yeah. Oh my God! Star Wars, get away from that game. Run away if you guys um, yeah, try to play that game, guys. EA. Yeah, EA and and that Star Wars game in particular, they just they ruined that fucking game. It's just, yeah, it sucks, man. Really, really sucks. Uh, yeah. Let me see anything else. I'm looking quick through the, any other the news is. Um, Okay, Sonic the Hedgehog, a new film, animated film yeah, for 2019. Oh, this is interesting. Yeah, I saw that. Uh, yeah. It's going to be produced by Sega and Paramount Pictures. What the hell? Okay. okay. And will be co-produced for the first ever Sonic the Hedgehog. Hmm. Interesting. Mm-hmm. That's going to be pretty cool. Huh? Yeah. Uh, let's see anything else. Um, Ghostbusters World for mobile came out this week. I'm seeing. Okay. If you're a big uh, Ghostbusters, so mm-hmm. let's see. Da, 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 da. So that's pretty much it, guys. I think right. I think, I yeah. think we wrapped everything yeah, we wanted so. to talk about. All these, uh, some of these painful stories. It's just yeah. <laughs> horrible, horrible. Yeah. 
all right guys so this is pretty much it for the video like always give us a like so we can continue doing these podcasts and uh, my co-host spider empire and uh until next time guys see you next time